Bill Gates Guitar Hero Master? Plus a new iTunes competitor. You're watching GetTheDaily.com and I'm Andrea Renee here with your music news. Bill Gates, master of the universe, is finally retiring. But don't expect this humanitarian to spend the rest of his days on a golf course. But he did have quite a send-off at his final keynote address during the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. A mockumentary played with musicians Jay-Z and Bono, plus actors George Clooney and Matthew McConaughey, even Al Gore and Jon Stewart pitched in to help poke fun at one of the world's richest men. The video shows the guys with Gates and what his post-Microsoft career options might be. I bet it was pretty funny, would have loved to have been there. And apparently, Billy is pretty good at Guitar Hero. So, what more can you do at your final keynote address but have a face-off in front of everyone with another Microsoft employee? But instead of playing himself, he brought in a stand-in. But luckily, it was an awesome stand-in. The one and only Slash. He rocked out to Welcome to the Jungle with his own Le Paul, while his competitor used the wireless guitar controller. Nice. Can you imagine if you were there, Slash, doing Welcome to the Jungle? Which was kick-ass. All right, singer Kid Rock was scheduled to be arraigned yesterday for his late night brawl at a Waffle House in Georgia a few months back, but it had to be postponed until February 4th. Turns out the prosecutors think they might not go forward with charges on the rocker. So lucky Kid Rock. I'll have updates on that story as it develops. Look out iTunes, here comes Sony BMG Music Entertainment. The huge record company announced its plans on debuting the new Platinum Music Pass series of digital album cards. It is the first time Sony has ventured into the MP3 realm. The cards which sell for $12.99 will be artist specific and even have original album artwork plus bonus material. The card has a pin like an iTunes card that you scratch off and redeem online. You have to go to musicpass.com to download your songs. The first batch of those cards includes artists like Bruce Springsteen, Celine Dion, John Mayer, and even the legendary Tony Bennett. Look for the new fancy digital music cards beginning January 15th at Target and Best Buy. You just heard the music news from me, Andrea Renee, at GetTheDaily.com.